What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is NF Instrumental and today I have another special video for you and it is on the topic of what it is like to teach high schoolers. Now my experience is a little bit different considering I am actually in the music education portion of it and I'm pretty close to the age of the average high school around, um, the average age of a high school is around 16. 17 years old um, just depends on um, the main age group that you're dealing with but uh, I'm barely out of high school this will be my second year out of high school and it's it has its interesting challenges um, teaching high schoolers uh, music um, from a education standpoint and from sort of uh, a social standpoint so we're gonna kind of talk about um, some of the challenges I face every single day whenever I go teach and some of the perks of being sort of younger and a little bit more used to the environment that these kids are learning in already. So basically um, one of the main challenges of me working at the same school that I graduated from uh, right now during this uh, fall marching season in the marching band setting uh, is that I still know some of the people that are in school now. I definitely don't pay. I definitely don't play favorites at all um, That is one of the most difficult things um, for a lot of music educators who are relatively young at, right out of high school is they have a hard time separating themselves from who they hung out with in high school and who they actually need to teach so and it's a little bit different now that I'm out for two years and there's a lot of new faces and most of the younger kids sort of understand that uh, I'm there to teach them and I'm not there to hang out. So um, another challenge that I'm faced with is a matter of respect, I guess you could say. So I'm not official. I'm not an official uh, director of bands at the high school. I'm simply a consultant. And so what I do is, is I go in and I teach uh, brass sections certain exercises and I work them through their music. But I'm not the one that comes up with the marching shows. I'm not the one that, uh, that pretty much puts them in the program, that registers them. I'm simply there to make them better at their instrument. But I don't have the pay. I don't have nearly the pay of a, of a director that works in a public school. So that's another challenge that I have to face is dealing with um, the kids who may not always want to be the most respectful to me. So I kind of have to play tug of war every once in a while with some of them. But, you know, it's all in, it's all with uh, a good challenge that this brings. So it lets me know where they're sitting at um, as far as uh, socially with me and how they feel with me and it's been great so far for the most part I've not had too many problems with uh, kids right now um, that I'm teaching currently with like back talking or anything because I'm younger I'm a younger teacher but you know um, we always have our days and <laughs> it's been an interesting ride so far uh, Monday will be day four of me teaching them and it's been an absolute blast so far so I'm super excited to see what the uh, season brings for me so let's sort of talk about uh, some of the pros that come along with being the age that I am and teaching these high schoolers um, who know their way around the instrument pretty well, um, but just need some guidance. So pretty much the one, one of the main pros I have is definitely being able to pick up on their vibes and how they feel during rehearsal. Um, being that I'm only a few years older than uh, the majority of them, um, I'm definitely able to pick up on their body language and I'm, I'm definitely able to know whenever something's going wrong, something, uh, whenever someone isn't feeling right. Um, it definitely gives me an advantage um, over the course of a lot of different instructors that come in and are much older. Um, it's more difficult for them to pick up on maybe what exactly is going wrong with them and it's a little bit easier for me to diagnose um, how to fix stuff uh, either socially or on their instrument. I try to be an instructor and a friend uh, to most of my students. Um, I try to make sure that I am someone that they can come to for anything and my door is always open to any person in that band program. 
Um, I absolutely love the direction that uh, all these kids try to take their playing. They all try to get better at the same time. And it is an, an interesting challenge to create um, competition between them and make sure that they can keep rising to the occasion and raise their level of excellence. And uh, once again, it's a very quirky world that I teach in being only a couple years older than, than them. So for those of you all that are in music education or wanting to get into music education and you're about to graduate high school or you're in college already and you're looking for some tips uh, to get into these band programs and start learning how to teach uh, these high schoolers, if you plan on teaching high school band um, you just got to take it day by day and you got to you got to learn the personalities of each of your students that's the main thing you got to know when they're feeling good about themselves you got to know when they're feeling bad you got to you need to be a part of their life but not to the point where they don't respect you as an instructor that for me is one of the hardest things to do is make sure that there is still a barrier between you and the student, but you still need to have a relationship with them that they can come to you if you if they have a problem or if they need help, but they're not and they're not scared to come ask for it. That's probably one of the biggest things that I strive for with all of my students is if they need help, they need to come to me because. Once again, the pros of being as young as I am right now is I can relate really easily to their problems. And I was in that same boat a couple of years ago, and I know the level of excellence that is required from them. And they have a difficult task ahead of them in this fall season. And it's super exciting to see them um, so eager. Um, like I said in a previous video, they're going up to Indianapolis this uh, November. And they're in their search for the BOA Grand Nationals uh, Eagle to win it and bring it back to uh, hashtag Team Texas. And it's such a cool adventure to go on with all these uh, students that I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I love teaching with all these directors. So if you'd like any more tips on how to become a better, younger music educator, so if you don't have your degree yet or you're about to graduate high school and you're looking for tips on how to get through to your students, I mean, basic ones is making sure you know the personalities of each of your students. You need to be able to be on a personal level with them. And at the same time, you got to be respected as an instructor. And the only way you can do that is showing them that you care about them, their well-being, and their ability to get better on the instrument. So guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this informational video about music and music education in general and about me being a young music educator teaching these high schoolers um, that some of them I do know. And uh, it's been an interesting ride so far, and I'm super excited to see where it takes me in the future. So for those of you all that have no idea anything about music education or anything like that, if you're interested in asking more more questions about it, please feel free to uh, leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer anything you have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.